So this next story is pretty interesting, especially after what we talked about last week, Dana, but faster yeah. delivery of multi-channel fulfillment orders begins today. So this was two days ago. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially the standard delivery is going from five days to three days, expedited delivery from three days to two days. Um, getting rid of priority delivery because uh, expedited is, is essentially priority anyways. Yeah. Um, so this is awesome news all by itself that yes. your orders are going to get delivered. You know, if you're fulfilling from your Shopify store, your eBay store from Walmart through FBA, they're going to get there faster, which is awesome. But yeah. What is even more interesting, last week, Dana, we talked about that Walmart was opening up their fulfillment services to fulfill any packages from, from Walmart, Shopify, Amazon, eBay. Yeah. And so yeah. while Amazon will probably say, oh, we had this in the works a long time ago, I feel like this is a direct response to them opening up their fulfillment services and Amazon being like, oh, shoot, we got to compete better now. Yeah. Uh, I've got some insider info on that. Uh, oh, bring it on! Yeah, you might here. be you might be right, Todd. But the funny thing is, is you know I'm just seeing this now, and it was maybe like three or four months ago because we do a ton of MCF direct for Shopify and in the main account that I service, and uh, and my my one of my longest standing Amazon reps is our MCF rep, and he was like, "Hey, we're introducing this new program, and you can just elect to go into it early if you want." And I'm like. Oh, sweet. is there some cost? And he's like, no, no, we're just, you know, switching things. And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, our, our, uh, Shopify store has been taking advantage of this, I guess, at almost like beta testing, I guess for the last few months. So cool. Yeah, this is, I think this is awesome news personally. Um, because I, we said in the last one, Todd, it's like, I remember I do MCF, and it, it would be like five days before I even got a notification that was being fulfilled. This is many years ago, right? But yep. it was, you know, you'd have a Shopify website and you'd be using the convenience of Amazon. And it was almost like they were intentionally making it longer just to make it not worth it for you. Now, this is probably at a time when they were still scaling up all yeah. their storage and stuff like that. So it's like on, on forums. Um, I can't remember what it is, but there's actually a button on this one forum that's a platform to have a forum to, mm -hmm. um, to cause random issues, disconnects, messages not being sent on a member of a forum to discourage it's called a discourage button to discourage them from even it's like a soft ban. Right. Mm. And I felt like that's what they were doing. It worked with me. I just quit doing fulfillment orders through there and we just did it ourselves. But I think this is awesome news. But what I think is even more awesome news is the fact that this is in response to what Walmart's doing. So this is there. It's happening. Like we're seeing, competition is being created and it is leading to better offers for us as sellers. Yep, for sure. And that's, that's the benefit of, of competition. I mean, we, we talked about it last week and less than a week later, Amazon steps up their game in response to Walmart stepping up theirs. And we just, we need a lot more of that in, in every yep. facet of e-commerce. Yeah, they're probably just listening to the podcast. They're like, hey, great idea, guys. Yeah, they're like, how oh, that that Dane and Coleman was talking about Walmart, you guys. We need to do something. If, if, Amazon, if Amazon's listening to me, they're like, oh, God, him again. He rants every time. <laughs> so here's my next thought. Yeah. yeah. They haven't mentioned it. I'm, I'm like, now that this news is here, I'm like, okay, I got to go and check their pricing sheet because mm -hmm. my biggest gripe about MCF because we, we sell a lot to like military bases and mm -hmm. we get a lot of people in Alaska and Hawaii ordering and MCF mm -hmm. is at least historically has been horrible for mm -hmm. the non contiguous States. Right. And like, I don't know. I, I think the reason is because 
Amazon just takes orders for Alaska or takes orders for Hawaii or Puerto Rico or whatever it is. And they just pool them and they just sit there oh. until they can like fill up their own plane or something. And then mm. they ship it out. Cause there's been times where it's like, they don't even offer expedited, right? It's just standard only. And there's been times where an Alaska order gets pushed in and like two weeks later, it still mm. hasn't shipped. And you're like, what is going on? So that was something I was always harassing the MCF rep about. And I think they started to, I was just pushing and pushing. I'm like, we need at least get a tracking number, you know, give us a tracking number, yeah. <laughs> even yeah, if it's not yeah. going to ship for a week. Right. So we'll see if that applies to those areas as well. Probably not. Yeah. yeah and, I hope so. And, yeah. I hope so. You know, it, it'll be good that the faster delivery, um, but I'm assuming, you know, the faster delivery is of course after it ships. So they're shipping it with a faster shipping service. That's a good point. Um, so the, the question will be, will they still, will they ship it quicker? Because I, I do have orders that, you know, through eBay and Walmart that sometimes, you know, it'll be three, four, five days and it hasn't so, shipped so out, no pass. tracking number or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, rarely does it happen now where they never ship it, but occasionally it does and they'll never ship it and then it'll just cancel. So that does happen from time to time. So we'll have to mm -hmm. see if it actually improves that part of it as well. Um, but I know I'm going to have to remember to jump over to my WooCommerce store after we get done here and change my shipping delivery speeds so that the people on there can see these new faster times as well. Yeah. Well, make sure Amazon's actually doing it first. Yes. Yeah. That'll be important. Definitely. Um, we'll see. Yeah. It's one thing to say it and another thing to to do it, but I would hope yeah. that they're announcing it publicly that they will actually do it. Yeah. But we yeah. shall see. Competition is a good thing. Let's hope for a lot yeah. more from Walmart and yeah. wherever else to yep. uh, push Amazon to do more things like this. Yep. By the way, that, that actually brings up a question. Has, have either of you seen just like a list of where e-commerce sellers can sell? Cause I've never seen that, you know, like us as Amazon sellers, we always talk about Amazon or Walmart, right? Mm -hmm. But where uh, else? Some, sometimes you see it on uh like, 3PL websites where they're mm -hmm. advertising all of the places they integrate with. And there's, there's at least like a dozen noteworthy yep. marketplaces, but really right. it's like once you get outside of eBay, Amazon and, and Walmart, they're all kind of very case specific, right? Like obviously Etsy's really good for certain types of products. And then there's other places where people are, searching for certain types of products. Like if you got on a uh, Wayfair, it's a completely different market than Amazon. Right. So yeah. Or new egg. Yeah. There you oh, go. Yeah. That's yep, exactly. Yeah. So here's the multi-channel fulfillment software we use. So these are some of the platforms that they integrate with. 